The McKinnon, and the McLean clans began the 15th century as allies, this was shown after the death of John, the Lord of the Isles, when the McKinnons joined forces with the McLeans and the MacLeods in an unsuccessful attempt to overthrow the MacDonald clan's grasp on the Scottish Western Isles. The McKinnon leader was put to death but the MacLeans escaped penalty and began to have increasing influence over the island of Mull. This increased power created a rivalry between these two clans. In 1400 Hector and his brother Lubanac MacLean, the chief of clan MacLean, joined the chief of clan MacKinnon on a hunting trip in Mull, they were also accompanied by the Lord of the Isles who was visiting. While the Lord of the Isles had left in his ship to head back to our Tornish castle, MacKinnon stepped on his galley to follow. Lachlan and Hector MacLean approached MacKinnon, stabbed him to death and disarmed his men, they seized the MacKinnon's ship and tracked down the Lord of the Isles' galley, seized it and held the Lord for ransom. On one occasion, the feuding became so nasty between the rival clans that the chief of Clan MacKinnon was forced to relinquish his lands to the MacLeans and seek refuge in Ireland with the Earl of Antrim. The Earl agreed to provide the young MacKinnon chief with forty men to try and recapture his property. The party landed at the Bloody Bay just northwest of Tobermory in Mull and headed through the woods to Leddig House where the MacLeans of Duart and Lochbuie had hunkered down for the night. MacKinnon and his soldiers cut and stripped cabbers from trees and placed them in the ground around the MacLean's stronghold, they also hung a sword on the door of the Leddig house. In the morning the MacLean's woke and realized quickly that they had vistas during the night that could have easily killed them in their sleep. The terrified MacLean chief sent for MacKinnon, and restored his lands. The two clans finally met in battle at a place called bois near Gribbon on the Isle of Mull. According to tradition the MacKinnons were on the verge of victory when one of their powerful clansmen, who was married to a MacLean, deserted along with his supporters. This changed the balance of power and the MacKinnons were eventually defeated. The chief of clan MacKinnon, and his men fled from the battleground and hid in a nearby cave named Gribbon Cave. Once the chief of the MacLean clan was informed about the location of MacKinnon he and his men headed to the cave with the intent to put the chief to death. The MacLeans attempted to smoke the MacKinnons out but he was able to escape, his men were able to get him to a boat and row him to Staffa, where he hid until he was able to make his final escape to Skye. The MacKinnons lost their lands of Gribbon and Inchkenneth, as well as Mishnish, they primarily became a clan of the Isle of Skye thereafter.